You, you haven't met Sam. That's right. Samantha Marlowe is my Hi. sister. It's on Alex. Oh, Samantha. How nice to finally meet you. Uncle Ross. Samantha, come here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, don't go away. I'll be back. Give me that round up here to get. Oh, wait. Let us know what you're in charge of. Oh, yeah. Look at this place. Oh, Mr. Brock. Sam. Yeah, you're uh, pretty good at this. Well, it's all in the arc of the talk. Thusly. I'm beginning a private detective agency. I want to rent out the office in your garage. I, I just don't think this is a job that's up your alley. Oh, but it is! I'm a real crime buff! You don't even have to pay me. We could... We could do this on a trial basis. Okay. I've left you instructions on the kitchen table with where we're going to be and the number. If anything happens, just call. <laughs> What's on your shirt? Oh, applesauce. <laughs> oh, God. I think it was probably her natural father. Uh, he came here and pretended to be a gardener. Give me one good reason why I should take you with me. Because you act on instinct and I act on brain power. Together, we're unbeatable. Yeah, well, there's only a few bucks and change in there. The petty cash is right here. <gasps> What in the blind and blue blazes oh, are you two doing in here at this hour of the night? Sorry. What are you doing? You're gonna have a long trip. You'll be getting hungry. Thanks. Here. So that money you got ain't lonesome. I'm glad you're here. I just... I just don't want you in trouble, too. Oh, Sam, you made it back home in one piece. No... No small accomplishment, considering your choice of travel companion. The horse is dead, Uncle Ross. You can stop beating it. My daughter never lied before she met you. She doesn't lie now. She just learned how to stand up for herself. She used to have respect for people that loved her and wanted to take care of her. I seen any cases like this before? Certainly, it's my specialty, it's what I do. If I'm gonna have a life, it's now. But I can't do it alone, Dylan. Nurse, can I get some more suction in here, please? Yes, doctor. The operation's over. Oh, and what happened? Oh. How did it go? Well, this is healing just fine. Why can't you stand to be alone with me anymore? But I see the way you look at him. And then how you catch my eye. You're a hallucination. You did it just now. Just when he was leaving. It's like when he leaves the room, so do you. Look, Ma, no handgun! Oh. Oh, you right with being so cocky? Oh. You trying to run a marathon here? I'll race you to the cafeteria. Oh, I'm so proud of you. So proud.
Carol was so vulnerable in the beginning. She was so trusting of you until she began to find out what you're really she about. She loved me. Oh, until that last night when she couldn't stomach any more of your stop lies. It. I don't want to go back there anymore. Now he is chief of the neurology department at Cedars Hospital, Dr. Daniel St. John. I have to stop that woman, Harley. I have to. I just have to. all over your shoes. It's my fault she came to Springfield, and it's my fault that she hounded him that all that time, and, and she's dead, and it's all my fault. I'm thinking that Jean's death wasn't just an accident. Well, what else could it be? Murder. What, you wanting to give her her sister's diary to make her feel better when other people probably... You know, I still, uh, still have that around with me. Those are chlorine stains on his shoes. He was at the pool before he said he was, before anybody knew. Now I know. He was desperate to stop Gene at any cost. I don't think Daniel murdered Gene. <sighs> How do you know? Because he told you? Because he has an alibi for his whereabouts at the time that Gene was killed. I'm going to break Daniel's alibi. How? I have a lead. He's going to get Daniel arrested. <clears throat> How did you find out that Hugh lives over there? Hugh? Hugh who? Who? Hugh, the security guard, the one who told the police that Daniel was in the lab when Gene was killed? Uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, record the times that he leaves for work. Why? So that I can prove that he's always late, which means that he couldn't have signed Daniel in at the time Daniel said he did. Okay. See you next week, Doc. Everyone who comes in here is so solemn. Or else they're trying so hard to be cheerful, which is even worse. Nobody just looks at me and talks to me like it's me. I'm sorry. The doctors walk in. Sam, if anybody can figure out whether Jean and Daniel argued that night, it's Mallet. What difference does it make if they did? With everything that Jean has holding over Daniel's head, if they had a big argument, that could make him look very bad, Sam. I know somebody who had an argument with Jean that night. A big argument. You do? Really? Yeah. Does it make that person a suspect? Absolutely. Who is it? Me. I'm not a person who could accuse someone of murder just because I felt jilted. Now look, Sammy, I know you mean well. And you believe what you say, but where's the evidence?
Dylan teaches me stuff all the time. What kind of stuff? You have a dirty mind, Uncle Ross. And I don't care what you say. I'm in love with Dylan, and you can't take that away from me. Sam. What are you staring at? I always thought that you were so honest. That's why I looked up to you. Well, Sammy, I never asked for your admiration. And if you don't like it, that's your problem. You make me feel like anything is possible. It is. And I don't want you to forget it. Justin about this, all right? Listen, you just don't tell Harley anything, not a word. Deal. You know, my dad wouldn't even let me see slasher films. He thought those were too stimulating. Sam! This is a very, very weird looking plant, Sam. Right. Weird. Dylan said that it reminds him of me. You know what I think the best part was? The wreaths on their heads. <laughs> No, the best part was the vows. Oh, well, the best part is this. What is this? Well, that's beluga caviar. You have expensive taste, dear. I like caviar. I'm a sophisticate. <laughs> I know I'm petite and somewhat naive, but I don't feel like a kid. And when you treat me like one, it's two times worse. Because more than anybody else, I want you to... Sam. Come on, Sam, we'll be right home, okay? 